Hi, yeah, welcome to my channel. Um, I bought a new toy <laughs> to play with. Um, it is the Eco Tank ET2810. I've been after one of these, well, for months and months and months, and I finally bought one, and I'm gonna convert it into a sublimation printer. Um, just so I can print off the images. A sublimation is, because this is an eco tank, it's easy to transfer the ink that comes with the printer and sublimation ink. So, so I'm using a sub ink and a sub um, sublimation paper. Um, I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos on how to convert it. I'm no expert, but I'm gonna try well, I'm going to do it basically. Um, I don't think you can mess it up, you know what I mean? It's, it's like infusible ink. You know the way it infuses into the material? Um, well, sublimation does exactly the same thing, but you've got to have a high uh, polyester count. Um, anything over 65, I believe. So, <laughs> um, I, I have got um, a pillow, a cushion cover, that I bought um, a couple of months ago from Cricut. Bit expensive, it, it was ten pounds, but um, I had a voucher for hobby craft, that's why I got it anyway. But I might be getting a lot of stuff from Amazon because they have got some amazing blanks and some um, I'm seeing websites as well. I've been having a look at the websites. So anyway, um, so that's what I'm going to do today. And so let's go and unbox this big boy. I've got me cotton mass underneath here and a piece of wallpaper so I don't, hopefully I don't get any ink onto me table so let's unbox this shall we So there's a bag of instructions which I'll be reading fully and a disc. Um, I'll be using the disc but you can always go onto the Epson website to download the driver. This is the ink you get with the printer. Um, don't put this in your in your printer. Um, I'm using special sublimation ink. So the first thing you want to do is um, take all the ink off the blue tape off. Because I know that these come in these bottles and Epsom have like the very own special bottles with the tops on, special tops. So I'm just gonna see if they're exactly the same. two bottles. I open this one and this one. If you can see they're not the same. So what I think I'm going to have to do is transfer this ink, Epsom ink, into this empty bottle so I can put the sublimation ink 
into the proper bottles with the proper top on. Okay, so. That's what I'm going to have to do. Right, so I've just had to just change my top because um, I know I'm going to get ink all over the place. <laughs> so, wish me luck. So I've took the top off the black bottle and it's quite easy to get off and I'll just transfer it into these empty bottles. I'll do that with all four colours. these bottles now and give them a good rinse and make sure all the ink's washed out. I've washed all the bottles out. Let's get cracking on filling these bottles. <laughs> so this is the A-Sub Sublimation ink. I'm hoping this is going to be a good one. So I've got the yellow, brown, magenta and cyan. In the box here as well, a pair of gloves. A pair of gloves. <laughs> and you get some syringes as well. Let's do the black. There's a date on these sublimation inks as well and this one says best before the 31st of the 7th, 2024. So, we're alright for now. Aha! Uh -huh. uh -huh. Ooh! <laughs> So let's get the black bottle, we've got the black bottle and the black ink and we'll just squeeze this in. So I've still got like that much, let's have a look, I think it's that much ink left. I can always top it up. Right, black top. Screw it on tight. That's it. And the black lid. Just put that on for now so it doesn't come out if I drop it. And then we'll do the yellow next. <laughs> so, yellow.
flocking but the tops <coughs> on the Epsom ink bottles and the magenta one is different to the blue one so they're all different all different on top so it's a good job I was putting the right tops on you can see even the black one is different top to the blue one it's like a different shape on the two end things yes so be careful when you uh, are transferring the ink make sure you you've got it got the tops on the correspondent oh, that's all the bottles all my bottles filled up so all I've got to do now is put them in put them in my printer so as you can see here um it's the you get the tanks are in here so it's got black yellow magenta and cyan so if you drop this down um this is where all your inks are going to go so you just the lids off and then you can fill your ink in here so I'm just going to do the black first keep all them closed and we'll do the black so you don't need to um, squeeze it or anything you just place it on the top and just let it do its thing right so I'm just going to place it on the top there and you can hear it guzzling. You can see it filling up the black. When it gets to the top, I think it'll, it'll stop guzzling. Oh, this is so exciting. <laughs> Yep, it stopped guzzling, so I can take this off now. And there's a lot of spill in sight. So I'll close that one, and then we're going to do the yellow. So here's the yellow, and I'm going to put that on top. And that's guzzling away. And... so easy if you have the right bottles and I wouldn't like to use a syringe either that's a, that's a messy job too So see these syringes, I could have got my bottle and put the top on like that, you see, put the top on like that, but it, it's still, it's a bit wobbly and then you take that off and there's a needle, but I was, I was too scared it was going to go everywhere because it doesn't look secure to me it looks as if like it's gonna pop off and it's gonna leak everywhere so I didn't do it because I was too scared I was gonna have ink everywhere 
So now I've got the ink all in my printer ready to go. Um, I'm just going to tidy this up a bit. So um, I'm going to put these back in the box. They say try and store them in a, um, a dark area. So I'm not going to put them away yet because I might need them to top up um, the ink. So, And then with these, so there's still a bit of ink left in there. Um, I might transfer the ink from there into there. Okay, so I'll just put them to one side at the moment. So I'm going to go over to my computer now and um, start sorting that out and if you notice I haven't plugged it in yet and um, they say don't plug it in um, until you've got all the ink in in the printer so looking at the instructions it says here um, do you have a smart device now that means um, you could use it with your smartphone but I'm not going to do that I want it on my computer so I'm saying no and it says go to section two so this is section two <coughs> so I've filled up the ink I've done all that and then turn over I've done all that so section nine is um, so I've got to plug it in now so I'm gonna do that plug it in okay so that's all plugged in and I'm just going to switch it on now. So that's switched on. And then on the instructions, instruction 10, it says confirm the tanks are filled with ink and then hold down the triangle button for five seconds to start charging ink. Charging in ink takes about 11 minutes. So I'm going to press this one here for five seconds. There we go. So I have to wait for 11 minutes now for it to do its thing. I'll come back when it's finished. <laughs> so it says turn off compute, uh, turn off the printer. So I've turned off the printer, and then it says printer nozzle check pattern to check if the print head nozzles are clogged. And then so you have to press one, which is the triangle while holding down one press two okay so i'll do that now so i'll put some paper in the back there so it should um print uh, print out a nozzle check Okay, so it says it's printed. Check the printed pattern to see if the print head nozzles are clogged. Well, looking at that, it seems perfect. There's no breaks in it. It's hard to see the yellow. So let's see what it says after that. If there is ink remaining in each bottle, refill the ink tank. Mm. Got the black. I'll do the yellow as well because a little bit's gone off the yellow, so. Then 
it says visit the website or use the CD supplied for Windows users install software and configure the network when this is complete the printer is ready to use <laughs> so I'll take you over to my um, computer now okay so I've put the CD in now and I'm just waiting for this to load up let's hope I can understand <laughs> So oh, here we are. Let's walk through this. I'm not, I'm not really tech savvy, but we'll do it step by step. <laughs> okay, this is the license agreement. So I'll just click accept. Yes. So <clears throat> make sure the printer is turned on. Okay, so that's turned on. Um, have you finished filling the tanks? I have finished fill it, filling the tanks. So click next. Oh, you can see that. Can you see that? Okay, so it's installing the printer driver. You haven't had a new printer for years. I've forgotten how to do it. <laughs> I've got an ordinary printer, um, and that's, a, that's an Epsom as well. So I've had that for about five years. <clears throat> okay, Wi-Fi capable product fan. Do you want to connect to the network? Yes. Connect using. Oh. It's connecting to the Wi-Fi now. Um, I might have to put a password in in a minute. Checking the system's environment. I'm on installation now. So it says print test page. And it says congratulations, you have finished setting up your printer. So that's good. I'll click next. And we're just um, going to check functions. And it's updating the firmware. So I'm going to click next. So I think that's everything installed now. Oh, I'm so happy with myself. Ah, oh, yeah. So I hope this was a little bit helpful. I put the sublimation ink in my printer. I installed the printer on my computer and it went pretty smoothly <laughs> so it's not it wasn't that hard really I'm looking forward to doing my very first sublimation project which I'm going to leave for the next video because this one went on too long <laughs> so I hope it was helpful for you to watch me do all these steps. <laughs> Sometimes it can get a bit overwhelming, can't it? Anyway, I'm happy I, I've done it all on my own. <laughs> and watch me other video that's coming up soon where I'm gonna be doing the sublimation um, project. So don't forget to subscribe and give me a like and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.